everyone and welcome to the Excel challenge. If you would like to learn how to create a presentation in Excel and to navigate through it the same way you do in a web page, please stay tuned. Before we start with the exercise, I wanted to spend a minute and explain what I mean by an Excel presentation. Sometimes it seems like if presentation equals to PowerPoint, and that is not the case. I mean, PowerPoint is an excellent program. It has greatly improved through the years. It has all these different slide templates. It allows you to insert pictures, videos. You can easily change colors, play with the transitions, add animations, etc. But when it comes to handling a spreadsheet, PowerPoint is limited. Somehow, PowerPoint has to either add a link to the Excel file or maybe embed the Excel file into the presentation or paste the spreadsheet into the slides, etc. And none of these methods are exactly the best way to present, especially if you're planning to modify your data during the presentation. For example, if you want to present a what-if analysis or if you want to compare more than two different scenarios. For that, it is much better and easier to just prepare your presentation in Excel. For this example, I went ahead and prepared a very simple presentation that includes four slides. A welcome slide, a results slide, a forecast slide, and a strategy slide. And I created one tab for each slide. The content of the presentation is irrelevant for the exercise, just follow along. Once you have prepared your presentation, you can simply add buttons with links to each of the slides. And this is how. The first thing we're going to do is make some room for the buttons. So I'm going to insert five rows here on the top right click insert and let's insert a shape that looks like a button so I'm going to select this rounded rectangle okay I'm gonna add a text box which I'm going to call welcome and I want to center it vertically and horizontally some formatting here I want it to be really rounded like a button let's make it green let's put a orange line maybe a little bolder okay I have a welcome button what I'm going to do now is create the next tree so control drag I have a second button control drag I have a third button control drag I have a fourth button and I'm gonna call the second one results I'm gonna call the third one forecast and I'm going to call the last one strategy. I now have my four buttons. The next thing I'm going to do is select this one and I'm going to hit control K to insert a link and I'm going to create a link to the welcome tab. Okay. Select the results button, control K, create a link to the results tab. Select the forecast button, control K, create a link to the forecast tab. Select the strategy button, control K, and create a link to the strategy tab. Okay. I now have my four buttons ready. The next thing I'm going to do is copy the five rows that I inserted, control C. I'm going to go to the first tab and I'm going to insert the copied rows. I'm going to copy this once again in results. I'm going to insert the copied cells. Copy one last time. I go to forecast and insert a copied cells. So now I have the same header in all four tabs. Let's test the links. Welcome, results, forecast, and strategy. And it's as simple as that. Let's just make sure they're all working. Results, forecast, strategy, welcome. And finally, a couple more things you may want to do in order to improve your presentation. One is to go to File, Options, Advanced, scroll down until you see this Show Grid Lines button, uncheck it, and OK. All the grid lines are gone, and this spreadsheet looks more like a slide. Now, another thing you may want to do is freeze the panes right over here in case you have a lot of content that you're going to be filling down, but you want to keep the buttons on the top. So, if you want to keep the buttons at the top, just freeze the paints. And that's it for today. I hope you find these concepts helpful and this is something you can use in your daily routine so you can get more with less effort. Remember that if you have an Excel challenge that you need help with, whether it's at work, at home, or at school, you can write it in the comments below. I try to resolve common Excel challenges from our viewers and subscribers. Thanks for watching and I'll leave you here with some of our previous videos.